Hi and welcome to another video. In this video I want to take a look at MQTT queued messages. Now normally uh, MQTT doesn't queue messages. Um, you publish a message and if no one subscribed to the message or if the subscriber isn't actually connected to the to the broker then the message is discarded. But under certain circumstances MQTT will hold messages for a disconnected client. Now for that to work uh, it relies on the client connecting with a clean session set to false. It re relies on the client subscribing using the quality service of 1 and 2 and it relies on the publisher publishing with a quality of service of 1 or 2 and it also relies on the MQTT broker settings. Now on the Mosquito broker which I'll show you um, the the broker is set to queue messages uh, up to a thousand messages by default and I'll show you the settings on the broker that you can change. Now to demonstrate this I'm going to use uh, two Python clients and one client is going to be used for subscribing and the other uh, for publishing. They're going to be in the same script so it's one script with, with two clients and the first thing we're going to do is a normal subscribe and a publish so we'll s subscribe to a topic and we'll publish on the topic while the subscriber and the publisher are both connected and we should see the messages come through so the subscriber should receive the messages and then what we're going to do is we're going to get the subscriber to subscribe and then we're going to get it to disconnect now it's going to subscribe with a clean session set to false and it's going to subscribe with a quality of service of one so once it's disconnected then we'll publish and we're going to publish with a quality of service of one and once we finish publishing and then we're going to reconnect and we should if it all works well we should see the messages come through so let's look at the script so here's the script it's a very basic script and all I've got is the on message callback and we're just going to print out the messages we receive uh, I'm using my local broker here and you have to change this if you're using if you use this script for your local broker or you can use a public broker okay so you can see here we're going to use clean session set to false this is a subscribe client client I just call it client and it's going to have a name of client one and we're going to subscribe with a quality of service of one and then we're going to have a published client called client 2 and we're going to publish with the quality of service of 1 so the first bit of the script here basically publishes and subscribes while both clients are connected and then we go into the second part of the script where we disconnect the client this is a subscribing client and you have to stop the loop um, otherwise this won't work so we stop the loop for the for the first client and then we go and publish the messages again we're only publishing five messages and then we wait a little bit and then we connect the subscribing client and again we start the loop so we can receive the messages and then at the end we wait a while and clean up now I've got a very long sleep that time there I'll change that to 10 I did this because I was using a um, a thousand messages uh, just to demonstrate that they actually worked and I'll show you a, a screenshot of that later so we're going to do a normal publish and subscribe and then we're going to do a, uh, a subscribe disconnect publish reconnect and we should see the receive messages now on the broker side I've actually set the um, the message queue so it will only queue five messages sorry it will only queue four messages and we're publishing five so basically we should miss the last message if, if this works correctly and I'll show you the uh, broker setting later on but first we're gonna run the script okay so let's run the script so remember we, we're going to publish and subscribe with both connected and we can see we've received the five messages that we've published and now we're going to wait a while and we're going to disconnect the subscribing client and we're going to publish we've published the five messages now we're going to wait and now we reconnect and we've only received four messages because I set the queue on the on the broker so it would only queue four messages so there it is the script the script worked
No, I've just VNC'd into my uh, broker. You can see here, this is the setting I use, maximum queue messages, and I set it to four. Uh, you see one underneath it, maximum queue messages a thousand. This is uh, what I use to demo that the fact that it will actually store up to a thousand messages, it will store more if you set this accordingly. Um, one thing I did find though um, with the Mosquito Broker, it defaults to a thousand and when I tried it with the using the default setting it didn't work. Um, I was getting mixed results, I was sometimes receiving a hundred messages, sometimes five hundred messages, but I did notice that if I actually set it explicitly the maximum queued messages rather than relying on the default it did work. So if I set the maximum queued messages to 500 then it would queue 500 and if I set it to a thousand it would queue a thousand. So thing to remember if you're using the Mosquito Broker maybe that's changed I'm actually using a slightly older version of the broker maybe it's actually been fixed in uh, later versions uh, but something to be aware of. And just to finish off, just to show you that I did actually run this with a, a thousand, and you can see here I received the the thousand messages. Uh, I'm not going to demo that live because it just takes too long to actually to do it. Uh, but you can adjust the setting like I showed you in the Mosquito Broker, and you can try it yourself. Okay, so that's it. Um, a quick demo of uh, MQTT actually stores messages or queues messages. Uh, depending on the the settings, depending on the fact that you've used a clean session and you're publishing and subscribing with a quality of service at one or quality of service two. So that brings us to the end of the video. If you like the video then please click on the like button. If you've got comments on the video then please leave them below. If you want to get notified of new videos on the channel then you can always subscribe and if you use social media please feel free to share it on social media and until the next time, goodbye.